video on Pear Deck, I'm going to show you a few of the supportive tools for assessment that it provides. I'm here in a sample Pear Deck slide. Now, it's important to remember that you go to the add-on, so something you would have already had to do is download um, or load the or add the add-on for Pear Deck within Google Slides. Also, you should have already set up your teacher account on PearDeck.com. So I'm going to go ahead and go to open Pear Deck add-on, and it's going to bring it up so that I can add um, those templates right here within my previously created slides. Now that I'm here, you can see they have that template library, which is very helpful. What allows you to explore and add some pre-made content to your lesson that you already have created. When I come here to the template library, you have some options. Um, first, you have what they call lesson builders, which lets you assess students at the beginning of a lesson, the, in the middle of it, or also at the end. So it gives you different types of templates there, as well as some critical thinking templates, social emotional learning, and also this works well with reflection, as well as different subject areas. So as you can see, it has it filtered by either for littles, grades K through two, or content areas. All very helpful. And um, let me show you an example of one that you could use. Um, maybe let's do specifically a subject area. Let's do the littles and let's look at one that you could do. Um, what's nice about these is you select where you want it to go. So if the first slide, I want it to go after it, I'm going to select the first slide. And then when I'm ready and I find a good fit assessment for my students, I can click on it. It will say working and it will drop it in behind that slide. Um, what's really nice about Pear Deck is that it does embed it right here within your work, but also down here in the speaker notes now, um, it gives you kind of a some teacher background on the purpose of this Pear Deck lesson or activity here that you can insert in the template library, um, as well as um, it gives you little tips and pointers as well. Um, this is specifically a drawing slide, and so students would draw on it. Um, as you can see, as you scroll down the template library, it'll tell you what type of activity it is. So it might be a draggable slide, something with numbers. Um, it might be that you have to use um, lines to connect. It could be a text slide where they actually type in their thinking as well. Um, and it will also let you know as a teacher that you could use this as a template. So even though they have specific examples already here that could be used, like cat, bat, and rat, you could on your own use this template um, to change the words and images to fit the sounds you're practicing today. So it can be customizable. It doesn't have to be the actual lesson that you're looking at um, used. So that is very helpful as well. So that has been a, this has been a quick tutorial on the supportive tools for assessment. Um, remember to get to Pear Deck first, you need to make sure you have an account. Next, you'll go to when you're in slides and you have that add-on downloaded, the Pear Deck add-on and open it. And then you can find those templates, the very first thing here under open my template library. Thank you so much for watching.